Bite fans, welcome to the after party. I'm your host, Tisha Knight Pulliam, and I am thrilled to be sitting down with Chloe, Brennan, and Cameron. Welcome to the after party, guys. How are y'all doing? Good. Okay. Everybody good? Yeah. Great. Y'all okay. ready? I know we're at the interesting part in this journey, but with the episodes airing, are y'all getting any interesting DMs or... When you read the DMs, they are wild. Really? <laughs> they are wild. They are wild. Like wild. what? I thought of some marriage proposals, which um, I thought, how on earth? Like, really? why would you even start there? Were they in prison? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been, wait, really quiet. I know y'all have some stories. Don't sit here and let Chloe be the one telling all the stories. Well, day one, I got a DM saying, hey, um, hope it doesn't work out. Call me when it doesn't. And I was like, thanks for the support. And was, <laughs> really? <laughs> Any exes that have popped up? Like, has anyone tried to come back and, like, you know, put their bid in? Uh, a couple exes have <laughs> reintroduced themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they already had my phone number, unfortunately. Uh, Never deleted it. Yeah, no. Wow. Block. <laughs> Delete yeah. is yeah. your friend. Right. Well, that is hilarious and super interesting, but we do need to get back to tonight's episode. Chloe, you're coming up on decision day, so oof, this is a nail biter. How are you feeling? For all of us. Right. Like everybody involved, it's we're biting our nails. Um, spending as much time in reflection as possible and hoping for uh, whatever should be will. Be. It will be, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Decision Day certainly has a way of evoking all of the nerves. That's why we're calling tonight's signature cocktail the Chloe's Countdown Cooler. <laughs> this drink consists of orange wine, watermelon juice, lime juice, and simple syrup. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Ooh, it's fabulous. Well, all right, let's get started. So, Cameron, your marriage with Claire has been one long, confusing game of telephone, and it doesn't seem to be any different in your divorce. Let's take a look at this clip. Today is Cameron's birthday. Our communication the last time we spoke was um, when we were with the entire group. I, I asked him if he was okay, and he just didn't respond to me, and I believe he was just angry with me. Um, and so... Yeah, I, I texted him happy birthday and I got nothing back. So I think I'm just needing to come to the realization that our relationship is just, um, is over. Question, I'm confused because were y'all talking? Didn't y'all decide to get divorced? Yeah, going off of what Claire said, mm -hmm. I thought there was, there was an interesting point. So she said that, you know, we hadn't spoken until my birthday, my heart operation was a week before that. I've been in and out of hospital that entire time, so I think the clip is very telling. Okay, what I hear you saying is, she's upset you didn't respond to her birthday text. Right after I just had heart she surgery. had not checked on you, so yeah. it's kind of interesting. Mm, it is. 